Rob with American Angling. Today we are setting up this computer to be our 12 volt power supply for the workbench, diesel heater, whatever you need it to be. So let's dive right on into this and get this thing set up. So let's just start with the tools, what we actually need here. Uh, multimeter is nice to have, don't necessarily need it, but I would definitely recommend this. Uh, just some ends, you can leave it bare if you really want to, but uh, I use these ends because I will, you know, wrap wire around it for testing different things. Basic Phillips and strippers and crippers. Uh, and you also need, obviously, a computer with a working power supply. So this really is just a matter of unscrewing this, pulling power supply out, unplugging it, stripping some wires, and you've got 12 volt power supply. So this model actually has a push button right here. Most of these, you just unscrew it and pulls right out. I'm gonna push that, and I'm also going to push the back of this. It'll get it past that lock comes right up and out. Now, we have everything else where it's all plugged in. So we'll start disconnecting plugs. All right, and now we have the power supply out. All right, next step is gonna be to cut these. These are gonna be your 12 volt power supply. This is gonna be your ground. Yellow is going to be your 12 volt. All right, with these separated out, we can go ahead and them really quickly just bond them together real quick do the same thing on the ground bond those together now before we do our connectors we're gonna go ahead and test this just to make sure that we are where we want to be now it's important to note that this won't actually turn on yet until we go ahead and bound another one of these to the power source but we just want to make sure we have power here so I'm gonna plug that in we do have power to the power supply so now we need to go ahead and circle back around to this uh, green wire here. So this green wire is what's going to tell the computer or power supply to turn on. Now here we have two options. We can go ahead and cut this where it is uh, and just pull the yellow back and place it right there, which is fine for right now. Or you can add another length of green wire to uh, bring it out to where the positive is. So we're going to go ahead and cut that fairly close. We're gonna strip this wire. Now, when we connect this to the positive, and we go ahead and plug this in, it will actually kick on. All right, now, these wires are live, so you know they can give you a little bit of a zap. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap the negative around there, the ground. We're gonna go ahead and Wrap the positive just for ease sake. And you see we do have our 12 volts. Um, and this can go up to 15 amp. So there's plenty of power there for testing most of your bench things. You know, this is something we actually do use in the shop a lot. Uh, I've got a few of these powering different diesel heaters, uh, different fishing electronics, testing stations, trolling motors. Um, there are a bunch of different things you can do with this thing that make it pretty handy. So hope that helped. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you around.